guys. This is like vlog status, so excuse me. Yeah, we're just doing a little update to let you guys know how we're holding up. Um, despite the craziness of the toilet paper apocalypse right now, we were able to finally get a little bit to where we don't run out. Thanks We've, to an awesome lady that yes. we never have met. Uh, stopped in at Costco and, well, because of skin sensitivities, we are kind of limited on brands that can be used here. I have sensitive tushy skin. Just yeah. saying. So, stopped in at Costco before they opened and was waiting in line because they had toilet paper. And the lady came out, was letting people know what they don't have, walking down the line that works there. And I asked about the brand we use because of her sensitivities. And she goes, no, all we have is, you know, Kirkland, their brand. It's not a it, bad toilet no, paper. No, it's not bad. It's just for her sensitive skin, it doesn't work out so well. Nope. Well, anyway, the lady in front of me, when I asked about the brand we use and was told no, she's like, well, I've got almost a full pack from here i'm just missing one little six pack out of it if you guys want it and could use it i'll give you know i'll give it to you just we'll swap numbers all that and so we communicated with her and well we really nice lady i mean definitely a blessing to just be there at the right time right place she was like yeah i use the kirkland brand and i don't really use this one and i've had it and so i decided if i can get kirkland i'll just give it to somebody who could use it so, yeah. I mean, really awesome lady. I mean, just absolutely amazing. So now we've got enough toilet paper to last us for the next month. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about running out and resorting to alternative means. And to be quite honest, anybody that's going out there and still getting toilet paper, you can go fuck off. There are some people that are every day Hunting seeing down every how single many store. stores they can hit and how many packs they can get. Literally, a lady had multiple in the back of her car last weekend and her car got broken into and the toilet paper stolen. Yep. She I, kinda I do, deserved it. I do feel sorry that her car got broken into and the invasion of privacy and I get that. But obviously she was stocking up on too much toilet paper. Yeah, you shouldn't hoard it. You, you, if you've got more than two, three packs in the back of your car and you're at another store hunting more down, I, I don't really feel sorry for her. Yeah, I really don't either. I mean, I do feel sorry that her car got broken into, but I don't feel sorry that the toilet paper got taken. But, as for us... Ow, that was my ear. Sorry. Okay. As for us, we've been managing pretty well. Uh, we are doing better than some people. Uh, luckily enough, my job, we're still working. We're classified as essential, apparently. And some of it I question I don't really understand. That's but besides the point. I am appreciative to still be working. Our bills are still getting yeah. paid, so it's... A lot less stress on both of us. Um, we've been able to actually help out some more with some people, so we've been doing a lot where we can, when we can. I've been posting uh, resources for people like bartenders that have lost their job, what they can do, because there's actually a grant out there right now for them. Um, one of my friends, she lives all the way in Maine, that's like 4,000 miles away from us. I sent her a couple bucks so she can get food for the animals and food for herself and try to source out toilet paper because this apocalypse that's going on with it. Um, one of my other friends, she's married to a diabetic and he ran out of alcohol swabs. Well, they couldn't find any and when we were in Winco, I actually found some. There for a minute, I was thinking of hoarding the entire shelf of them, but I'm like, no, there could be another diabetic that needs this. So I got three boxes of 100 packs. So, so that should last for a while for him. At least, hopefully, weather this whole pandemic. Yeah. I also got them a little bit of toilet paper that I could get from another store. So yeah. they should be good for a little bit. Yeah. So things have been interesting out and about, but yeah, we, we do leave the house to go get Dutch bros and get food because of our little community. All of our restaurants, our, our favorite restaurants are doing, um, they're doing a lot of carry out, out and delivery too. But yeah. so we're we're trying to support our community as best as we can so that way our restaurants stay open and they don't shut down permanently because this could hurt them. But and depending our, on how long this goes, yeah. it could be very detrimental to a lot of your local businesses. So anybody watching support if you're your mom and pop. I would definitely encourage support 
some of the local businesses help them out because they're going to be the ones hit the hardest mm -hmm. with any shutdowns right now. Especially your mom and pop stores right now. They're going to struggle. These big chains that you see like Sherry's, Danny's, uh, Hardy's, which we know is um, Jack in the Box. I, th I think it's either Jack in the Box or maybe Carl's Jr. One of, one one of, of the, the two. two. Um, places like that are your most common, BK, and McDonald's, stuff like that. They'll be fine. They've made billions of money, so they can, they'll stay yeah. alive. They'll, they'll come out of this the other side. They might take a little hit, but they're still going to be in business. Whereas yeah. your little one and only mom and pop restaurants, uh, My hand stores. Is shaking. I'm going to hand this off to you, so I'm not shaking yeah. so bad. So <laughs> a lot of your little mom and pop stores and one-off shops, they're going to struggle right now. They're really going to struggle, especially if they get hit to the point where it's full lockdown, no income coming in. It's very detrimental. And so I encourage everybody, support everything you can locally for now. Help them weather the storm. If you're working and you're able to... Try to help out your friends. Yeah, pass it on. Pass the karma out there. Help others that are struggling. And for those of you hoarding all the, the paper products, give back. Help supply some of your neighbors, some Don't of your friends. Don't sit here and rack up prices and sell it just to get money. No, I'm yeah. sorry. You get your ass out there, you go give to someone less fortunate. Yeah. Share the love. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. And just try to be like the lady that helped us out today. I really, really do appreciate that because we've been hunting every single weekend for toilet paper. And it's been nigh on impossible for us to find some. Yeah. So with that, we want to wish you guys the best through all of this. Please stay home. If you don't have to go into work, if you can telecommute, telecommute. If your job is currently closed due to uh, whatever state restrictions are put in place of only essential and yours isn't, Stay home. Mm -hmm. Keep your distances. For those in the U.S. that are worried about the unemployment, assistance is on the way. Hang. Just hang tight. Uh, government checks will be getting handed out within... They start to go out Wednesday. At least that's the last we heard. I yeah. Mean, we haven't looked in the last day or two to see updates. Just Whatever. Because. The money should be handed out by the end of April, so you'll be able to catch up on your bills. Um, talk to your property management companies. Talk, mm -hmm. Keep contact with your employers. That way, as soon as you can go back to work, you can go back to work. If you think you have any symptoms, signs, seek medical help. Um, avoid people that you know have a compromised immune system yep. or underlying medical issues. Just be safe out there and use your guys' heads. I know y'all are a bunch of smart people out there. So keep your head about you. Take your protocols and take this serious. Please do because you're putting my life at risk. We go out, every store that we do go in that she is able to go into, she's masked up, I'm masked up. And we don't touch Any anything. store I go into, I'm masked up, and I only grab what I am taking. Yep. I don't sit there and fiddle around because you never know. So. And for a household of two, we've got plenty of food to last us the next yeah. month. So. And if you can, just go back to normal shopping, everybody mm -hmm. else. Stop hoarding toilet paper. So. The shit does not give you the shits. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna pull out of this the other side however long it may be we just gotta be okay. supportive pull together as a community as a country be positive don't let this get you down in the dumps nope. as hard as that is to do just keep your head up stay strong stay home stay home stay, stay safe. safe stay healthy all right this is just a quick update yep. I'll post more videos later I'm sorry just have not wanted to do it. A little bit of a creative block and a little bit of that, eh, I don't want to. Yeah, and he just bought me The Sims, so I'm going to go play. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Yeah, maybe she'll get some videos recorded of that at some point. And maybe. maybe just some something funny. Know, maybe something. If nothing else, if you can stream it, maybe throw it on my Twitch. So, for now, you guys. Okay.